A group of young women at an Indiana University sorority are down to a last-ditch effort to save their chapter. They're going to court after the national office pulled their charter, leaving many students scrambling to find a new place to live. Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally now on their fight to keep the house open at least until the end of the semester. Knock at the door at Tridell House, and the longtime house mother will tell you, I've been here 16 years. I've had the nicest girls on campus. We have done nothing wrong. But their national sorority says everybody must be out of the house Sunday evening. The chapter shut down for, quote, activities that do not represent our high standards or align with Tri-Delta's purposes. It was on probation three semesters in a row, the national says, quote, they had no intention of making positive change. IU says it wants to meet with students and will help them with alternative housing, counseling, psychological services. It says our priority is the safety of the students and assistance to them during this difficult transition. The university may be trying to help. It says it is. But there's still that issue, many of these 75 women here with no place to stay. You can't really get a lease for like a month at an apartment, uh, so a lot of us are just trying to figure out housing situations, and the school's been really helpful with that as well. We want to be able to stay together as much as we can, and with the housing on campus, we would all just split up into different dorms, and even living in hotels, like, we'd be kicked out every weekend just because they're booked, so we're kind of bouncing back and forth between different ideas right now. I spent last evening in the house with them. They are sick, they're tired, they're frustrated, they're hurt. These young ladies can't even focus on school, on academics which that's what they're there for. Parent Jim Harris says the National Sorority Office won't disclose specifics about alleged violations here. What are they guilty of? And we get no answers. So false accusations. These young ladies are in a critical time. They have five weeks left in this semester. That's why they're going to court. I think our main hope is just to be able to stay in the house for the rest of the semester. Um, this is our home. We don't want, like, any trouble with nationals. We just want to be able to spend the rest of our last month at school in the house. So both sides with the clock ticking could be in court as early as tomorrow asking for a temporary restraining order on this. The other side, of course, the national fighting that. Back to you, Jim.